Hello everybody and welcome to, I don't even know what fucking episode, like 13 or something? I'm gonna double check. Give me a sec while I double check, but we are recording board Gang Beasts. And with all, always with me is Dalton, say hello. Hello. And we haven't played this one in a while. We, uh, obviously we went through the co-op mode on Portal 2. And then we played some, uh genital jousting for you guys and we had a few podcasts in between as well oh god Star Wars Day was between the, now and the last time we recorded Gang Beast wasn't it damn That's oh I was way off we episode 6 was the last episode of Gang Beasts so welcome, welcome to episode 7 of Gang Beasts oh yeah it's back baby yeah I'll probably record a few episodes of this, um, and move on to, um, uh, Portal 2 single player. Yeah, probably Portal 2. Let's, uh, invite you. There we go, we ready to go? Should be. What, what are we doing? Gangs? Wave? What are we doing? Yeah, we can try a wave first. It always seems to be a good one. Yeah. Any specific stage, you just want to go random. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. Let's start this shit. Man, I haven't played we haven't played this in over a month. It's about time. I probably still suck at it. Yeah, that's the thing you got every time you every time we come back to this game we gotta relearn the controls. Yeah. Because <laughs> the controls are kinda bizarre. Uh, let me turn off the AC, otherwise that's gonna be in the mic. Oh, my guy is glitching out, holy crap. There we go. It's better now. Okay, I, I kind of remember how to play this. Whoop, I died. That didn't take very long. No, I don't remember how to play this. I remember how to move my character, and that's about it. <laughs> uh, I on they oh, get him. Ah, oh, oh, you died. Oh, no. Into the goo. I got a bold spot. So I noticed. Oh! 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 Oh, come on! Come on! Oh! Oh, man, this is epic. This is epic. Oh, I can't believe I actually made that. Now if you could find a way to get back <laughs> up there. <laughs> if I could get up here. <laughs> there we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go! Oh, Alright! Kick his ass! Uh, oh, that, that was... Oh, shit. Okay, you ain't getting back out of that. I... I... <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I didn't expect that to play out the way it did, that's for sure. <laughs> no. Wanna do more waves or That's cool. Let's go. Set it on random. The subway level is always fun. Yeah. <laughs> you throw people down on the tracks and get rid of them easy. Although I've yet to figure out how the fuck to get off the damn tracks. Yeah, this game is tricky to to hang out. That's for sure. Oh, it's Trump and I assume Baron. Oh, he knocked my fucking burger hat off. Knock his hat off. Oh, rest in peace, burger. Oh, he knocked my hat off, too. I don't take too kindly to people who knock hats off. I can't remember how to lift, that's the thing.
How the hell does Elliot play video games? He's literally blind. I, I what? Who's that? A guy I know named Elliot. He's got a Steam account, and I don't know how. I've never met him in real life. Oh, and he's blind. Yeah, he's literally blind. God. I think, I think there was an Ocarina of Time speedrunner who was blind. I know. I, I think no, was he wasn't a speedrunner, but he did. No, he no, beat it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He used like the, like certain sounds and like the sound cues to know where he's going. Yeah. Well, Trump eventually. I lasted a lot longer that time. I remember how to grab enemies, but I don't remember how to throw them. Up oh, there goes Trump. Ugh. I don't remember the little guy. Is that supposed to be Baron? I that, wonder. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's, a, that's what I was thinking. It might be Hillary, actually. I don't know. Well, she's like small, I guess. I don't know. I thought her sprite was bigger than that. I thought it was more obvious that it was her. Oh yeah, that's true. I think there was a different one. I know there was a Hillary uh, character in this game. Oh. Ah oh, crap. I guess we technically got all of them in that wave. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see. Uh, oh, I went to grind. I, I, I meant to go random. I kind of like randomly, because you never know which ones you're going to be on or whatever. Yeah. Yep, yeah. My shitty. Yep, I found a Japanese copy of Demon Souls today. Thrift thrifting. It's kind of a place near uh, Harrisburg. Mm. Man. Oh! 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 Fuck! 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 Oh, I got out. I got out. I got out. And he died. Yeah, that was close. Oh, shit. Grab it on Get you. in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Well, <laughs> now I got you. It's hard to, it's hard to uh, not grab each other. Yep. Ah. Okay, that's Joe. Oh shit! No, no. Oh shit! I, I got squished again. Oh! Oh! No! Oh! Ah! Oh. Fuck. That didn't work. I'm not entirely sure what I just selected. Matchmaker is setting up a server. Oh, football. Oh, soccer. Okay. Uh. Ah! <laughs> How did I not... Yes! No! 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 Yes! No! Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Oh! Ah! Oh, oh that yeah. was cheap! <laughs> <laughs> that ball goes fast.
<laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh shit! Oh. Nope. Oh, there we go. I got one. Finally. Oh, I jumped over it. God damn it. Ah! Pull your mustache off. Go! Go ball! Go ball! Go ball! <laughs> oh, I feel no. cheated! I feel cheated! <laughs> God damn it! No! no. Yes! Shit. Oh, I won. <laughs> I won that one. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh! Come back! Come back! Come back! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's in the corner. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! No! Get it. Oh shit! Yeah! Oh shit! <laughs> yes! Do that! <laughs> Do that! Oh god! I just ruined that for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Tie game. Oh, oh, oh shit. Wait, right. it, it can't end in a tie? Golden. Oh shit. Oh shit, I set down my drink. Uh -oh. God damn it. I picked up my drink at the wrong time. No! 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 God damn oh. it. Fuck you. Oh, I'll kick you in the face. Kick you in the face! Ah! Grab your head. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. All right, let's do another one. This game's a lot of fun. It really is. Oh yeah. I'm glad I'm able to get rid of all that fucking popping that. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know why Skype does that. Oh shit, that's quick. <laughs> Threw himself into me. Yeah, I knocked off your hat, bitch. Bitch! Oh, he knocked off my hat. How dare you, sir? I was dapper in that hat. <laughs> He's just jelly. Oh, shit. Oh, that was oh. close. I tried to grab onto the edge, but at least I killed him, too. Took him with him. At least I took him with me. Hell yeah. So I'm writing notes on my Fallout for my Fallout the review, making sure I don't miss anything. Well, the, the the story that I'm going to cover is the the main plot, not including any of the expansion. So ah, shit! I jumped in. God damn it. Oops. But, like, I'm, I'm not going to cover any of the the uh, expansions. I will yeah. talk about them, but I'm not going to cover the stories in detail. Because I think some of Fallout 3's best writing is in some of the expansions. Especially, um... Uh... Point Lookout. Yeah. And... Point Lookout's really goddamn good. And The Pit... And yeah, I think, um, what? Yeah, Point Lookout's main story is pretty good, too. Yeah, um... And then I want to talk about, uh, I also want to talk 
talk about how the Broken Steel expansion fixes uh, a fairly significant problem that the original ending had. Yeah. Originally, um, it was you can try to talk people, other people, into going into the ra the uh, purifier and getting irradiated, but you will fail. They'll be like, "No, it's your job. You have to do it." Which doesn't make any sense if you have a companion with you that is immune to radiation, like yeah. Fox. Or Sh or Sharon, <laughs> or yeah, that robot whose know. name escapes me. You'd have uh, them. You'd tell them, "I want you to go in the purifier," and they'd be like, "No, this is your destiny." And like, why? This ain't my destiny, bitch. You're immune to radiation. I don't care yeah. if it's my destiny. I don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> the game like chastises you for it, which is dumb. But you can set it up so that both you and Sarah Lyons live. You can also make Sarah Lyons uh, go in there too, if you want to be a jerk, if you're playing a bad guy. Oh yeah. I, I think I tried to do that last playthrough. I did. And of course you can... Uh, you <laughs> you want to handle him? Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah, I'll throw him in. Get over here. Ugh! Ah, oh, you just punch me and knock my ass out. But the, the, there are a lot of criticisms of that game and why it's not as good as some of the other Fallouts. And some of them are just... Some of them are objectively false. And I'm going to talk about, like... People say, oh, the main quest has no choice. Okay, you could say the main quest only has a few... A, a handful of endings. I, I would get that. Yeah. There I was go. kicked due to inactivity. But to say that the there's no choice in the main quests, where, where'd you go? Oh, I'm still fighting. Oh, next wave. To say that the main quest has no choice in it is objectively false. Another thing people say is uh, that all the choice that does exist is very black and white. It's like, here's yeah. your good option and here's your bad option, and that is also not true. And what people point to when they make this claim is they will point out that you can blow up Megaton. Well, there's a lot more choice, in, especially in side quests, than just blowing up Megaton. I mean, oh, there's yeah. far more nuance in what you do with Harold, isn't there? Yeah, there's all kinds of different... Uh, I think there's like four different outcomes at Oasis. The Oasis quest. There's like, you let him live, you kill him, which is what he wants. Or you just tell his followers, like, oh, like you basically just lie to them about Harold. Like, yeah, there, there are multiple him. options about it. Yeah, you can um, slow his growth so that he will remain mostly with, so that the green plant life and everything will remain mostly within the grove. Yeah. You can speed up his growth so that he will grow faster out of the grove and bring green life back to the wasteland. You can go down and stop his heart and kill him like he asked. Like he wants you to do. That's what I always do. Or you can set him on fire. <laughs> Literally. And That's the only one that gives you, as far as I understand it, the only one that actually gives you bad karma is setting him on fire. Yeah. Because I, I know that the one where, where uh, you make his roots grow, I think that's just, just a neutral uh, thing. 
that's what I wind up doing as I as I uh, make his roots grow. But that, that that's nuanced choice. That gives you a bunch of different options, and it isn't black and white. And the pit has another great. Uh, the, the end decision at the pit is another great like not so black and white option like you get to it and you're thinking okay kidnap a baby that sounds horrible and it is but if you don't do it it's in the something in the service of a guy enslaving the entire pit which is also horrible so it's like you don't really get a good clean good guy option in the pit you know whole situation's fucked. <laughs> yeah, and in Point Lookout, what's the big difference between choosing Dr. Calvert and the other guy? There's even a, there's even a part in Fallout 3 where you can literally uh, basically uh, give a little, like give a child away to a slaver. Yes, you can, uh... Oh, that killed me. You can, uh... Uh, Brian Wilkes is the little kid in, um... The, uh, Those Side Quests, which is a big reference to the movie Them, which is a great flick if you haven't seen it. It's about giant ants. Oh, I, 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 I didn't really know about that it, It's... It's... I mean, you, you think it's going to be some kind of just a cheesy B movie from the 50s or whatever, but it's honestly better than that. It's a legitimately good movie with some good atmosphere and intensity to it. I like it. I need to watch more movies in that era. Being a 50s giant monster movie, there's certainly some cheese too in it, oh, but yeah. there's more to it than that. It's a better yeah. movie than that. How long it have we been? A, uh, probably like 20 minutes or so. Okay, let's go a couple more rounds. Anyway, the choice, do you remember the plot line for those? Because in my opinion, it's one of the better plot lines in the game. The, one of the oh, better side quests. Hmm? For those... Yeah. Yeah, that's one of my favorites too. That, that was one of the first quests that were that was like actually like challenging for me initially. Yeah. Because of the damn ants, oh man. Yeah, but the 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 moral choice that you make at the end of it is to kill the queen or not to kill the queen. Yeah. And if you think about it, that's more nuanced than just do I or don't I kill the Oh I have a hold of you. Yeah, it's more nuanced yeah. than do I or don't I kill the queen because I usually end up uh, not, ah. not killing the queen. I always yeah. try not to. But I mean, think about it. It was this guy's. Ex it was the scientist's experimentation that mutated the ants and turning them into fire breathing, fire breathers. Right? Yeah. You have no guarantee that he's not going to make the situation worse somehow in the future. Yeah, because he's like he's pretty evil when you think about it. Because he do he doesn't even really care about the the consequences of his actions or what he made or anything. Doesn't really. Uh, Realize it. He wants to try to turn the ants back to normal and try to fix what he did wrong, but you have no guarantee that he's going to be able to do that instead of just somehow making things worse. Yeah. So, I mean, is is it right to just... Is it the right decision to kill the queen? Or not? It's hard to say. Yeah. There's a lot of quests in that game in general that are pretty uh, similar to that sort of, sort of style. I took him with me! Hell yeah. That's what I always try to do. But yeah, there's a... Uh, 
lot of, uh, uh th th there's more gray moral choice in that than people give it credit for. It doesn't get quite as much into, uh, politics and how, 100% how the world works, but there are a lot of clues there that I think people just plain miss. People say, um, how does everything eat? Well, if you listen closely, you can hear, like, crickets and stuff like that at night, right? Yeah. And that would be hidden in the all the grass that's growing all over the fucking place in the D.C. wasteland. There's a lot of it. And the Brahmin would eat the grass. And the people would eat the Brahmin. And there are caravans. There are caravans. The their trade routes are not 100% laid out. But if you go to Canterbury Commons and talk to them there, they do talk about the trade caravans that come through. So there are caravans in the game. Yeah. So it's not like they put zero thought at all into how the world works uh, and how the economy works. Obviously, it runs off of bottle caps. Just like um, the the economy in uh, previous games. Yeah. In Fallout One, the bottle caps were backed by water, which is pretty neat. Yeah, and in <laughs> this game, um, the, they never really say the bottle caps are backed by anything, and people wonder how they came up with bottle caps there. Well, bottle caps are actually pretty smart because they're a unique shape that's very difficult to forfeit. Oh shit. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, there oh, 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 there you go. There you go. So, I do have to concede that there might be nothing back in the bottle caps, but as far as how the bottle caps got there, I mean, why wouldn't uh, the uh, Brotherhood is leaving the area that the NCR is in, right? So they know the NCR's money is going to be no good outside of that area. But bef even before the NCR, there were bottle caps. So I imagine they probably just bought bo brought bottle caps with them when they came out east to the D.C. area. That's how I think the uh, bo bo bottle cap as a currency started in Fallout 3. Obviously, that's just theory. Yeah. Based off the evidence that the game gives us. And as far as uh, another complaint is um, the Enclave being in D.C. when they started out west. Why, if the Enclave considers them to be the The Enclave considers them to be themselves to be the United States government. Why wouldn't they go to DC? You know? Yeah, exactly. It, <laughs> so it makes sense for for the Enclave to at least dispatch some of their power out to DC. At least to me. Not to mention the presidents there too. Yeah. <laughs> Quote unquote president. So I think a lot of the fan complaints about it just don't make sense, and I'm going to discuss that. I also don't think it's uh, fair to just to get pissed at uh, Bethesda because um, um, the uh, Van the Van Buren prototype was never finished, and I'll talk about that more in the next episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, ring the bell, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks, everybody, and goodbye. Bye.